Let's take a moment and I'll show you how to connect your Android based phone uh, with Bluetooth to your new DMHWT3800 Next from Pioneer. So I have the in dash receiver switched on and I'm on the home screen, that's fine. And no other device is connected here through Bluetooth, that's very important. Now let's open up the phone and I want to go to my settings. There's the settings. And I want to go to the connected devices where I'll find Bluetooth. And right up here, I'm going to pair a new device. Now that'll search for devices. And we're going to wait for a moment while it searches for the 3800NECs. Here's our DMHWT 3800NECs. I'm going to select that on the screen. And that'll generate a pairing request. Do you want to pair with this device, 646303? That's the same number here, so we're good. We'll say yes, pair, and pair over here and the two devices will be paired. There you go, we have two paired devices. Now, if you notice over here, it says this also works with Android Auto. If you want to work with Android Auto, you're gonna stop your car and check your Android phone. We'll say next here. And here we have to engage the vehicle's parking brake in order to access these settings on the phone. Okay, you can see we've engaged the vehicle's parking brake and we can say can, uh, download. And we are going to download these apps uh, onto the phone so that we're ready for Android Auto. And this will just take a few minutes, and I'll show you how it goes. Here you can see updates occurred on the phone. And we now have Android Auto on the in-dash receiver, and we have a wireless connection. So now I can just close this up on the phone. We'll exit out to the home screen. And here is Android Auto, ready to go. Touch that to get to Google Maps.